this this week's movie is to pick up America's spirit because oh, national patriotism is at an all time low. It is. Yes. Oh. Okay. The economy is still bad. People are poor. Mm. They don't know who to vote for. <laughs> That's hard. We need to pick up American spirits. Okay. With a, with a feel good movie. So this film's called World War Fun. Because nothing gets the American blood pumping more than a good war. That's and true. This, when people think of World War I, they think of, you know, grimy, muddy trenches, mustard gas, a lot of death and, and harrowing humanity, you know? Like the very mm. worst of humanity. Um, so we're going to show it in a bit of a more amusing light. This is oh, it's the, a World War I movie then. Yeah, but this is going to be the fun side of World War I. World War Fun. It is mostly Willem Dafoe uh, wearing a soldier's uniform, climbing a slide and going down it, going, Wee! War's so fun! For about an hour. No, it's not. You don't... No. Okay. Really? Well, that's for that's the first hour. <laughs> Just How that. many hours Up and down. <laughs> But there are okay. slides all over, and sometimes he goes into the other trench, because everyone's just having a laugh. So you've got the entire German side, right? And they're all gay, because <laughs> I, if I've learned one thing from good propaganda films, because that's what this essentially is, is that it's always fun and not offensive to portray a bad guy in a kind of gay way. And Mel Gibson taught me that, um, just so that it's associated with villainy. And evil. Yeah, they did it in Kid Icarus Uprising, didn't they? they? Did, yeah. Yeah. So this is the Kid Icarus Uprising of feel good patriotic films. <laughs> World War Fun. Is it kind of like Good Morning Vietnam or Patch Adams in that way? It it is like Patch Adams. Okay. In the Willem Dafoe laughs a lot. He's just skipping like it's kind of, you know you know the Teletubbies. Oh sure, yeah. Yeah, that. But we say that's what World War One looked like. With Willem Dafoe dressed Willem as Dafoe, an American soldier. As an American soldier on slides that are just like really windy, fun ones like Willy Wonka's factory. And he's just going around going, Wee! I'm winning the war! I think it'd be really good. And then you've got all the gay Germans, and in every scene they are in, they pick up a big German sausage, like a bratwurst, and they go, Tschüss! This goes in my mouth! And they put it in their mouth and just go, Oh, oh, oh. Oof, like that. You just slowly see them eat a sausage, yeah. Yeah, like really like that, like it's a penis, and they're oh, taking right. it off. Oh. And, and just yeah. in case the audience, because there's going to be some kids in the audience, because it's a family film, so they might not pick up the humour. So one of the other Germans will go, oh, that looks like a penis, and you are sucking it off. <laughs> the, the audience talks like that too? <laughs> yeah, it's like Rocky Horror Show, in that the audience has its own script and they can join in and they can all go, oh, and you get all the little kids doing it. They love it. They all go, oh, it is like a penis. Aren't you are sucking it off? <laughs> like a little Augustus Gloop, just a sweet little fat German fella. Yeah, so the film is basically an hour of <laughs> Willem Dafoe going around on funny slides, mm -hmm. then Germans going, oh, I'm eating a sausage like a penis. Mm -hmm. um, and then at the end, Willem Dafoe's given a medal they say, well done, you have saved America from the Germans <laughs> and defeated their leader, Osama von Laden. You see what I'm doing there with a clever satirical twist? I think so. Yeah, and then the credits roll while everyone goes, we love you, we love you, we'll earn the foe, you won the World War and you had fun as well. Let's all sign up for the army. Wow, that's so much of what it is it might go all the way around and you know the the pain wheel because that would be really hard to watch that movie <laughs> i mean you realize that like it, it, it seems like a more simple concept compared to some of the other ones but in terms of actually what you'd be putting the audience through that would be by far the most difficult well it's like a serbian movie almost just him going ah! and just going down the slide. Yeah, I'm having so much fun! Isn't war great? Ah! And then just Germans <laughs> doing the old sausage fellatio routine. And there's their music or anything? Is it just that? No. <laughs> okay. There's, there's no music, which 
to be honest, makes the scene where they're eating the sausage, which lasts 23 minutes, um, a little awkward. Yeah. Is this, do you hear the sounds of them chewing and stuff like that? They're like gulping? All that stuff? Yeah, yeah like, they're like... Because oh, they're moaning as well, so they're like... Oh, oh. Ugh. Mm. That'd be tough to watch. <laughs> like that. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming the audience will be laughing so hard that they will... Basically, they'll bring the music of mirth. <laughs> that, I would... If the movie was, like, a movie about watching that movie, and you got to see what happens to the audience who is forced to watch it, that yeah. that could turn it into a, a truly, uh, truly topical meta experience, Jim. I'll be honest... I mm-hmm. didn't have a Willem Dafoe movie because we <laughs> panicked at the last minute. <laughs> you had one a couple of weeks ago that you said, this is really good and I'm going to save it. And this whole time I thought this was the one you were you were saving. That you were no. That, that, was, that, um, that one wasn't very good either. What was that one? Come on. Huh? Well, you got to give us what that one is. Oh, that you was just, die. that was Willem Dafoe playing Brendan Fraser while they filmed The Mummy. It's like, it's like they're filming... The, the movie is about them filming The Mummy. Except The Mummy is real.